Hey everyone, my name is Sahil and in today's video we will be discussing the critical differences between galvanized iron pipe earthing, also known as GI earthing and copper plate earthing. After this video, you will get a brief overview on the objectives of earthing, the different methods of earthing and the major differences between GI pipe and copper plate earthing. Let's start by understanding the objective of earthing. Why is earthing so crucial? There are three key points. Firstly, safety for humans. Secondly, protection for structures and equipment. And thirdly, voltage stabilization. Firstly, earthing protects people from electrical shocks. If there's a fault in the electrical system, earthing directs that dangerous current away from you and dissipates it into the ground, acting as a life-saving alternate path for electrical faults. Secondly, earthing shields against sudden spikes in voltage. These spikes can happen due to lightning strikes, line surges, or even accidental contact with high voltage lines. By channeling these excess voltages safely into the ground, earthing prevents damage to your electrical systems. Lastly, it stabilizes voltage levels across your electrical network. Think about it. Electricity comes from multiple sources, each with its own transformer. Without a common reference point, it is difficult to manage these different voltage levels. That is where earthing comes in. It uses earth as a universal standard, making it easier to manage and balance voltages across different electrical sources. Now, let's discuss some of the methods we can use for earthing. Firstly, plate earthing. In this method, we use a plate made of either galvanized iron or copper. This plate is buried vertically deep into the ground usually at least 3 meters or about 8 feet deep. Their dimensions vary based on the fault current rating. These plates are then connected to all your electrical conductors, creating a safe path for any electrical discharge to flow into the ground. Next, we have pipe earthing. This method uses a galvanized steel pipe to connect with the electrical conductors. The standard pipe used here is 75 millimeters in a diameter and 10 feet in length. This pipe is welded to a GI flange that has six holes for connecting earth wires. The pipe is then inserted into the ground using an auger method, making it a secure and effective way to ground your electrical system. There are many other types of electrical systems, these are just two. Let's start by understanding earth resistance in both these cases. Whether it's GI or copper, earth resistance is a crucial factor. When you set up an earth electrode system, it's essential to measure the resistance between the electrode and the actual earth. How do you measure it? First, you connect the terminals C1 and P1 on your earth tester and connect them to your earth electrode, which could be either the plate or the pipe. Next, insert two separate spikes into the ground and connect them to terminals P2 and C2. Make sure these spikes are in a straight line and spaced at 0.5 meters to 150 meters. This setup avoids any interference between the terminals. Now, rotate the generator handle at a specific speed and you will get the earth resistance reading directly on a scale. For a detailed explanation on how to do this, we have a separate video on how to measure earth resistance. The link is right here. This takes us to now getting into the calculations of resistance as per the Indian standard 3043. We're going to get into the math behind why earth resistance for both the earthings starting with plate earthing. This is the formula to calculate the resistance R between the plate electrode and the ground. Here, P is the resistivity of the soil and A is the area of both sides of the plate. This is the formula for calculating the resistance between the pipe electrode and the ground. Here, L is the length of rod or pipe in centimeters, D is the diameter of the rod or pipe, and P is the resistivity of the soil. Finally, some significant difference between copper plate and GI pipe earthing. As the name suggests, copper plate earthing uses copper as the electrode material. Because copper has high conductivity, it makes it a superior choice for efficiently channeling electrical currents into the ground. On the other hand, GI earthing uses mild steel pipes coated with galvanized iron. While steel may not be as conductive as copper, it's still an excellent conductor. This means it can effectively channel any dangerous voltages into the ground. Now, let's talk about longevity. Copper tends to last longer than GI, usually by about 8 to 10%. Because of this, GI earthing systems are often over-designed by the same percentage to compensate for the shorter lifespan. I hope you now have a clear idea on copper and GI plate earthing. At Axis, we have a team of 40 plus engineers who are here to help you in designing 
installing and testing your Irving system. Our products have been used in substations, data centers, factories, and even in everyday residential and commercial buildings. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more videos about lighting protection and grounding systems, along with other videos about electrical engineering.